Nothing quite says the holidays like Hallmark. And you may know our next guest from holiday hits like Sister Swap, Christmas in the City, and Christmas Wonderland. But now he's switching gears and taking on a new role in Showtime's new horror series, Let the Right One In. Joining us now with more on his career is Jacob Buster. Jacob, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Hey, it's good to be here. Thanks for having me. You know, Jacob, like I already mentioned, it's about to be the holidays over here. And with the holidays, everybody loves to watch Hallmark movies. Do you get a lot of action from your fans hitting you up or anything like that during this time of the year? Yeah, here or there, you know. I, I, I get DMs every once in a while, and it's, it's always nice to see that somebody would enjoy a project that I've been a part of. And what has your experience been like being part of so many wonderful Hallmark films? It, it, it's very nice. It's, it's very cheerful on set. Um, but, but it is a little interesting to be dressed in the eight layers and all the coats when you're filming in the summer. <laughs> you got to keep getting rid of that sweat. So, yeah. That's so funny. I think that's something a lot of people probably don't even understand that goes on. But um, now you've actually switched gears. You went from Hallmark movies to actually doing a little bit of horror now. What was that switch like for you in your career? So, so I've always been into drama. I think drama is my bread and butter. That's where I kind of like to sit. And so li living in Utah, obviously Christmas kind of was the big thing, but being able to kind of step out and go to New York and, and really experience such a new, real side of acting is really wonderful. And I'm so happy to be able to do it. Well, let's dive a little bit deeper into your new role in Showtime and, and this film that is coming up. Can you talk to us a little bit about your character and maybe some similarities and some differences you have? Yeah, so my character, his name is Peter. He is a vampire in the new show, Let the Right One In. And um, he, he's been a vampire for about 10 years. And um, he, he's kind of had to learn how to grow up whilst not truly growing. So it's kind of interesting to see somebody who's stuck between this teen kind of mindset and this adult mindset and how he views life. I, I, I really enjoy it. And I would say some similarities are just how lonely he can be. You know, sometimes moving out to New York alone for six months as an 18 year old can be a little lonely. So, yeah. Understandable. I, I completely understand that. Now, when it comes to the storyline of this upcoming series, um, without giving too much away, because I know you can't give too much away, but what can fans expect from this upcoming series? So, Let the Right One In is pretty different from your typical vampire show. It, it, it really dives into a family love instead of romantic love, which I really enjoy. And it brings up these moral questions of, obviously as a human, you have your own morals and these things that you stand for, but are you willing to break and bend those morals for a family member to try and save or cure them? And I, I really love that story that it brings you through. And not only is the story very incredible, but also your character is super interesting. You actually had to wear a lot of heavy makeup to get into your character. Was that something you were used to doing? No, I actually hadn't done prosthetics at all before that. Oh, wow. And then when I stepped onto set, and thankfully the, the special effects ladies that were doing it, Crystal and Mel, they were both wonderful, made it very easy. Um, but it, it was about three hours on and an hour and a half off. So it was it was definitely a lot of work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Three hours on and three hours to get it all off. Well, for you during that time, how did you adjust to having to get all of that makeup on and this time you have to spend in the chair being able to transform into your character? Well, that, that was a little bit of a hard one. But um, the, the one nice thing is that uh, Peter in in that kind of makeup is supposed to be uncomfortable and is supposed to be going through a lot of emotions and a lot of physical pain and everything. So to be put in an uncomfortable situation wasn't too bad to throw me out of the character. Jacob, when it comes to your career, like we already mentioned, you made the transition from Hallmark to what you enjoy a little bit more drama and horror. How have you seen yourself grow as an actor over the last few years? So I think before an actor, it's just personal growth a lot of being able to kind of express myself through these deeper emotions in a character and this deeper story that really takes you through a journey you know you really get to go through so many more emotions in drama i feel like and um and as an actor i've really been able to grow because i think i think i'm able to look at more stories in a new light and kind of understand more actors around me and what they've been going through and you know, be, be able to learn from that. 
Well, now that you've diversified yourself as an actor, what kind of role would you like to see yourself in next? Ooh, I, I really... Hmm. If we're, if we're talking about a role that's already been around, I love Beautiful Boy. I think that's a phenomenal film, and Timothy Chalamet's role in that, I would, I would love to be able to play a character similar to that and really dive into really what the human brain is capable of and the depths that it can go to. Wonderful. Well, Jacob, we are looking forward to seeing the series, and we thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you for having me. To connect with Jacob, we'll have a link on our website at liveinthebay.tv.